Good afternoon, everyone. Um, hope you're doing great. As you can see, winter is here, but it doesn't stop us from building tiny homes. And uh, actually, we are able to build more houses at once nowadays. So we'll be able to uh, deliver more houses next year for you guys. So we have something really special for you today. Um, something we've been waiting for because, uh, of course, we're doing custom projects. So we don't really decide what's coming up next. But what we have here uh, at the back of me is the Neuer XL, which is pretty much what you want as a tiny house. So it's the Neuer, which is our most popular design, and it includes uh, a bigger butt, which is uh, a main floor bedroom uh, at the back of the house. So it combines uh, the best of both worlds, actually, the, the really aesthetic and uh, pleasing design of the Neuer combined with the main floor bedroom. So it pretty much has it all. Uh, the color scheme of that uh, Neuer XL is identical to the original designs. We have um, horizontal cedar with uh, vertical uh, standing seam uh, steel. And this combination is pretty much uh, the best combination for this type of model. We have the same slope as the original design. And we have two uh, skylights in that model, which is something that was not included in the original design. So the house is uh, 35 by 10 and a half. It has uh, one main floor bedroom and one bedroom loft. We have the elevated uh, living area with tons of storage and we have some really nice cool features in there. So without further waiting, we're gonna have a, a look inside. Welcome inside the Neuer XL. Uh, I am now in the, the entrance of the house. Uh, so we have a door that has a, a big window for more natural light and we have uh, a built-in blind, which is quite popular nowadays in our recent models. We have some hooks near the entrance so you can put your coats directly when you get inside the house. Um, so the, the overall design for the living area is exactly the same as the original Neuer. Um, why? Because you don't change something that works and if something works, it's definitely the living area with the built-in uh, storage underneath in the Neuer. So talking about these, uh, these, uh, the storage in the Neuer, we have uh, two drawers here that are seven feet deep and we have two other, two other ones here that are going all the way up to the end of the living area. So we have tons of storage right here in this section and we also have some floor, uh, floor storage right there. That one is accessible if you open up uh, the traps. I'm now standing in the living area. It's elevated uh, eight, 18 inches higher than the rest of the house and it really creates a different space where you can uh, feel that you're in a small apartment where there are different parts of the house are separated but there's no division. So we have a window here in the back. Um, that one is an awning window with a fixed panel on top. We have another awning window right there. That one is quite big. Um, and we have um, here the built-in cabinet for the two electrical panel. What we have here is uh, a 50 amp that still has room for more stuff on it. And in the bottom, we have the 30 amp for the generator outlet. This is also where we installed one of the two heat recovery air exchanger. And in the bottom here, we have the HDMI cable uh, and also um, some outlets for the electronics that will be on the coffee table or whatever stuff the clients are gonna put. We also have the connection for the cable. Everything is wired from here in the wall straight up to where the TV will be located. So the clients decided that they wanted this to be able to close um, the panel to hide the TV. Um, and they're probably going to have some more stuff underneath. We have one of the two, the two heads for the mini split um, AC and heat pump. The other one is in the, uh, the master bedroom. And now in the kitchen combined with the dining area, um, as you can see, everything is full uh, walnut, so real wood. Uh, we have a, almost a 10 feet long counter here with a big table uh, on the other side. What we have in terms of cabinetry in this house, uh, there's no handles on uh, many of the doors because it creates a slick design and it's uh, push and pull. Um, here we have um, a butcher block. That one can be removed if you want to uh, for maintenance, but then it's, 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 an, it's, it's, a, it's a chopping board. Huh? I assume you guys already know what a chopping board is made for, so we're gonna skip that and go directly to that built-in dishwasher, uh, that one is 18 inches and it's 
really clever and it's a slick design overall. We have um, some drawers here with a dirty towel right there. I was not expecting that. More surprises? No, everything is really clean. So it's all push and pull. Uh, we have another drawer underneath uh, the built-in microwave oven that is electrical. On top of, of that, we have an induction cooktop. That's only two burner, but why would you need more? Uh, let me know if you need more, we're gonna put more. Um, we have other cabinets on top of that and we have the range hood right here. Oh yeah, we have um, a large uh, stainless sink with a uh, stainless faucet as well with a nice window to enjoy. I just said window, right? <laughs> with a nice little window here so you can enjoy the view uh, on the St. Lawrence River right now. But the next view will be uh, in California. So I would be following that house if I could, but I can't. Um, here we have what would be normally uh, either a closet or some more storage, but look at this. We have a fridge with some doors that are matching the rest of the cabinets. It's the first time we do that for a fridge. We did that with the dishwasher, but then uh, you can't stop the progress, right? So yeah, overall it's really slick and we, we like the, the concept and uh, we think the render is really nice. We have another drawer underneath that. So there's a lot of storage in that small part of the kitchen. Right now, I'm showing the dining area. So there's a, a big corner seat that is all storage. As you can see, everything can be open. So we have some storage here. We have a, a table that can sit uh, up to six people. Um, if you have some other, uh, other uh, chairs around it, we have here the little fire extinguisher that uh, is there for safety purposes with a few outlets as well. That window is really nice because you have uh, two uh, guillotine mechanism. You can open them and of course uh, it's, it's, it's a better design than having just a plain window that you cannot open. What else? What else? <laughs> cool. So we have the built-in storage here. We're going to get back to this later when we're going to go inside the loft. But for now, uh, let's go in the bathroom. So if I was in the, the original design, I could not go like this. I would be stuck by a wall like that. So that's the main difference between the original Neuer and the Neuer XL. It's pretty, the XL uh, stands for the extra large butt. The butt is the master bedroom in the bottom. So we're gonna get to this uh, later. So here we have sort of, a, sort of an alley um, that connects the dining area to the master bedroom here and in the middle we have the, the bathroom. What we have here is a two-in-one washer and dryer uh, that one is a hair. We have uh, a drawer underneath and we have here some uh, some nice shelves just to put some decorations. Of course, you're not going to store a lot of stuff on there, uh, but here you can. We have a kind of a big uh, cabinet right here so you can put whatever you got. And we have a sliding door here to have access to the bathroom. So we managed to have this layout for the bathroom um, for the simple fact that the washer dryer two in one is separated from this uh, this bathroom. Same for the mechanical room. So what we what we have here is only the shower, the the vanity, and the toilet, and the, of course some storage in the bottom. So we have uh, a double door right here for the shower. We have uh, an imitation of concrete with the Muralux panels. Uh, we have some, uh, some shelves in the bottom here for, for storage. And we have a, a nice little mirror on top of the, the vanity. That vanity is also uh, some walnut. And we have some storage underneath with a little camera that is mine. Um, here we have a flushing toilet as well. And then there's a little um, box here to put the toilet paper. So yeah, we try to think of everything. Uh, toilet paper is kind of a must when you go to the bathroom, so I wouldn't get rid of that even if I was going tiny. And then when you get access or, uh, to your right inside the, the bathroom, we have the, the, the switch for the lights and also for the, the humidity extractor that is on top of me. And we have four hooks to put the towels or whatever stuff you want to hang on there. All right, so that's the main difference uh, with the Noryu XL. So we're now located inside the master bedroom, which is downstairs. 
Um, we have a big window right here. It's a sliding window that is an egress window to be used in case of emergency. And we have full storage right there. So when we get inside, the first thing we have is the, the mechanical room. So there's room for more stuff, but then, so from top to bottom, we have the, the main water entrance. So we have a valve right there to shut off uh, if there's anything. We have the small particle filter uh, that comes stuck with our homes. And then uh, we have the different valves. Uh, so the hot water line and the cold water line. On the right, we have the power supply for the LED strips inside the house. This house is equipped with a 30 gallon hot water tank and electrical. And also we have a humidity detector that is connected to the water tank and uh, installed in the pan. So if there's anything, you're gonna have an alarm. And then on the right, we have the, um, the switch for the exterior utility outlet that is underneath the house. And in the bottom, we have another electrical outlet. All right, here we have some, uh, some shelves with uh, some LED uh, backlight. And here we have a drop down stories like that. So you can have uh, a seat and a computer to be working from home. So that little gap right here is just to have space for your legs. I, I could be sitting right here, as you can see, like that. How you like that? And here, uh, the cabinet on the left is um, actually a closet. And it's a decent size. You can put some regular clothes. And we have um, a closet rod on top. And we have drawers all the way down. Here we have a nice little window. And like I said, the other window on the other side. And something that is new to this design is also the, the skylight uh, with a uh, built-in uh, blind that is controlled with a remote. So that way you can close the blind uh, of the sky whenever you want. We also have another head for the mini split um, pr to provide heat or air conditioning throughout this area of the house. And the other um, air exchanger that is installed right here. So follow me, we're gonna go up to the loft. I missed that completely. So I'm sitting inside the loft. Uh, we have right here, we have a standing area where we can change uh, while not being uh, clustered inside the loft. So we have uh, a really nice clearance right here at the highest point of the house. So you can have access to um, another closet, that one is dedicated for uh, the people that will be living inside the loft. So we have the same size of storage that we have in the downstairs bedroom. Combined with um, three drawers right here. So you can see the clearance on top of my head. So we're at the highest pitch of the house. So the comfort related to have that standing uh, platform right here is perfect. So you can change uh, at a really comfortable height. So I'm sitting where the head of the base will be located and we always try to have the head of the bed at the highest pitch of the house for more clearance, which is the case uh, for this loft. We have some um, wood um, blinds right here um, that we included in other designs and it's getting quite popular. It's, it's a really aesthetic way of creating intimacy uh, instead of a curtains or something that would be uh, colder in terms of design. And on each side of the bed, we have um, the access for the lights inside the loft and also um, two outlets on each side of the bed and some USB plugs. We have um, a sliding window that is also an egress window in terms of size and it's properly identified in a way that is clear for everyone. And we also have um, another skylight right here. Um, the half wall that separates the loft from the rest of the house is at least two thirds of the height of the clearance. Uh, that is for safety purposes, but that's still a nice spot to enjoy the view on the rest of the house. Don't you think? That sums up the tour of the Neuer XL. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that design because uh, in our opinion, uh, it's really uh, a complete design that can fit different types of, of lifestyles for the simple fact that there is a main floor bedroom combined with a bedroom loft. So for those who were skeptical about living full time in a Neuer because there was only a loft bedroom, and now that we created one with a main floor bedroom, what's your excuse? What's your excuse? 
<laughs> so hopefully we'll be hearing from you soon. We really like the overall design and also the fact there's tons of storage. So definitely that house is, um, is suitable for full-time living, which is the case for almost all of our houses, but it's definitely the case with that one. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys uh, really enjoyed that uh, Excel version of the Neuer. And if you have any comments about the overall design or questions you might have uh, for us regarding our houses, uh, feel free to write it down in the comments below. And um, if you miss uh, Elise's uh, French accent, she will be doing some other tours uh, in the weeks or the months to come. Donc pour ceux qui s'ennuieraient d'Elise, euh, vous allez la voir dans les prochaines vidéos tour. Uh, donc euh, merci de nous suivre, merci de passer from French to English like that. Nobody gives a um, keep following us on our different media platforms. We have the Facebook, Instagram, we have stuff on Pinterest, and of course, uh, the YouTube channel. We have tons of videos, uh, you can watch them. You'll be able to learn more about our houses in general. And uh, we want to take this time to wish you a good uh, year 2021. And for us, it's going to be packed with projects, so you'll be hearing from us uh, throughout the whole year. So thanks for being there. Have a good day, have a good night, have a good season. <laughs>